listeners, this is Kristen for Guns.com. I'm in a very special place with special people today in South Africa with my very good friend and hunting partner, Stan Pate. We're here at Waterval Safaris. We've been hunting planes game for the last couple of weeks, but now we're shifting things up to do a very special and memorable hunt. This is the hunt of a lifetime for Stan. He's going to be using a special rifle that belonged to a late friend of his by the name of Richard Cameron. This is a Wesley Richards in 425 Wesley Richards. We put on the miles going after these Cape Buffalo. Every time we'd get close, we'd walk and we'd get within a group. And on the first stalk, a group of cows kind of circled around us and were protecting the bull. And all of a sudden, we realized they're closing in on us and we needed to back out of there. And I know that was disappointing for Stan because he didn't get in position for a shot. But that just meant more time on the hunt, which in the end makes everything that much sweeter. So we headed back out again found another bull and got into position. And this time the bull was off on his own. So now we're going toe to toe, nose to nose with this dangerous animal in his own territory. And he's leading us into some really thick brush. So this is where the hairs start to stand up a little bit on the back of your neck. And all of a sudden I can see they're motioning him. They're setting up the shooting sticks and this is gonna happen fast. And I know I have every confidence in the world in Stan's shooting. He is a world champion shooter, long range. And this time, we're within about 30 yards of this Cape Buffalo. And he's ready, he's been ready for this moment all his life. I can't tell you what this, what this means to me. Folks that know me and folks that know this rifle and where the rifle came from are gonna kinda understand, but for me, I can remember when I was a young kid with a show called Tatari. You know, used to run around with my broomstick handles taped together, you know, thinking I had a double rifle. And, uh, and I always dreamed about hunting Cape Buffalo in Africa. It was, the, it was the first image that came to my mind whenever I thought Africa and big game hunting. And then, so I never lost that dream, but I never got to not do it. And then I met a gentleman named Richard Cameron who became one of my best friends. And he was, uh, a neat old gentleman I picked up usually two or three times, four times a month and take him to breakfast. And uh, after breakfast, we go back to his house and, and we talk about hunting, maybe watch a couple of hunting shows or, or talk about some of the African Plains game that he had gotten on the wall. And he had bought this rifle years ago and he always wanted to go dangerous game hunting, but uh, shortly after buying it, uh, he got diagnosed with, uh, with a physical ailment that made it too painful even to shoot a regular centerfire rifle. You know, I didn't know about this rifle at that time when I first met him, but one day he showed it to me and I just practically drooled all over it. One day he sold it to me. He didn't sell it to me, he gave it to me. I mean, he charged me so little for it. So, you know, he knew he wouldn't be able to come to Africa. Uh, I think he knew he was getting towards the end and then he passed away. So I was able to bring this rifle to Africa. So this is kind of like uh, finished it out his dream. I can tell you that even though this wasn't my hunt, I'm not the one pulling the trigger, this was the hunt of a lifetime for me as well, just to get to share in Stan's experience. And I know the rest of our hunting team felt that way as well. What you got to see today was a man, Stan Pate, fulfilling his lifelong dream of hunting Cape Buffalo and honoring the memory of his friend here in South Africa. If you enjoyed this story, head on over to guns.com, give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you join us on more of these hunts We'll see you out in the field.